Hey guys, what's up? I think I'm live. Um, so today's session is going to be a bit more about my, um, a tiny bit of a section of my, um, of my mentor seminars that you're gonna, um, well, that I've put out already. So for those of you that do take, take one of my seminars, um, in one of the seminars, it, there's a, there's a, a one day seminar and then there's a two day seminar on, on the, um, on both the seminars, you're going to be tattooing this fake skin. So this fake skin, uh, this video is also going to be like a, is going to be like a tutorial, um, and like a review for the, for this company. So this is a company that I, um, that I kindly got these samples from which is real skin. Now they boast that it's the best synthetic tattoo skin in the world. So I'm gonna see about that. <laughs> um, this is the reference I've got. I've just got a, a standard skull reference. Um, I've stenciled it up onto here. Now, when you stencil things onto these um, flabs of skin, um, that is quite hard. You have to be very careful because, because it does, it's not like uh, real skin where you, <laughs> real skin, get it? It's not like, human skin where where it soaks into the skin it seeps through the skin so it's always going to be on the top so when you put your stencil down it's really easy to like slip everywhere and then smudge it so you have to be really careful when you when you uh like push it on and then i would keep it on for a good minute and then take it off and i would let this dry for a, a good 15 minutes to 30 minutes the longer the better really um, but I just wanted to smash this uh, tutorial out anyway. So this this is the reference I've got. Um, now on these slabs of skin, um, those of you that do do my mentor classes, uh, you'll have like a really smooth side, this side, and then a textured side, which actually feels a tiny bit like skin. So this is the side I've put this on um, because I just don't think, I think this is the back and obviously the textured side is as realistic as possible to real skin. So what I'm gonna do is just, you're just gonna watch me ta tattoo this really because I need to, <laughs> I need to get on with the video. So I've set up as normal. Um, I've got my light and stuff there. I've set up as normal. Um, I'll bring this down a bit. If you can, bring this down a bit. everything. So this is the first time I'm tattooing the skin. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how this goes. It could completely smudge off and we'll have a, a meme video. Um, so yeah, so this is what I'm going to be doing. Um, now, I'll probably put the reference over here. I'll just pop it on here. Um, so I'm going to start by starting at the bottom and then working my way up. Let me come around here, see if I can get a better angle for you guys. It's hard to get an angle for this um, because it's, okay. It's, uh, so yeah, so uh, obviously I'm using the ink injector, um, Nano Elite. I've wrapped it up as normal as, as I would keep into good practices. So I'm going to use a, 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 um, an array of needles on this. I'm going to use all my needles I ever use in my life. So I'm going to use a 13 Magnum, which is a flat. I'm going to use a five round shader. These are all Shein cartridges, by the way, apart from the liner. Um, I'm going to use a nine Magnum soft edge. These aren't bug pins, by the way. Um, this is a three round liner by Quadrant. And uh, this is a 17 Magnum soft edge as well. Uh, not bug pins. So what I'm going to be doing is starting at the bottom and I'm working my way up. Um, now, I don't know how this is gonna go, FYI. It could just wipe off immediately. So I'm very skeptical about this, but if that happens, then I'll just have to Deal with it and uh, pretend it's a client's skin. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm going to be using 13 volts, um, using 
everything I would like on skin. Uh, the same depth, etc., etc., and we'll see how it performs. Now, I've tattooed fake skin before, 13 volts. I've tattooed fake skin before, and it almost rips. Um, I've also mounted this to an armrest, if you can see, and then strapped it down just with some micropore tape. Um, now I'm gonna go in with a three round liner here and uh, see how it does go. I'm gonna put some Vaseline down. It looks like the stencil is not gonna stay, to be honest. It doesn't look very promising, I must admit. It's very faint but we're gonna crack on anyway. So I'm going in with a dark black uh, because obviously the bit of the reference that I'm using is dark black. So normally this is this is this will be in into uh, this will be in my mental sessions as well. I'll, I'll explain everything. So if I go into a bit say um, that's next to something that's light. Say see, see I needed to line the outline of these teeth see it's not solid black i would go in with like a lighter color here um but whereas if this is solid black i would go in with a solid black line and then as i'm coming up up this side of the head say because this section all of this section isn't solid black next to it like this section is i would then change my color of my line to come into like a really light tone um just makes it more realistic that way in my opinion, uh, I'm not saying I am the be all and end all, but I'm just saying that's just how I work. Oh, I've already done that. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the three liner and see how this performs. Okay, it's nice, actually. Let me uh, move this out of the way because it's kind of in my way. There we go. Let's just do this real quick. Now, I've found you have to be quite slow on these to pack the ink in quite well. Hey, what? Well, it's not bad. That isn't too bad at all. I'm just gonna carry on doing this line down as I would on skin. feel like real skin because it does feel very synthetic because of yeah see that's not gone in well there and I don't know why maybe you have to go a bit slower to pack the uh, the ink in Nice, that's better. When you slow the line down, it gets a lot better. Um, smash a like on the video, guys, if you can. Now I'm gonna line this section of the skull. So I've lined this section here, which is this bit here. And now I'm gonna line this jaw section just on the inside. Again, there's black next to it. So I'm gonna line it in black. And then I'm gonna shade that bit in. I'm gonna color pack that bit in, so. To be fair, the stencil's not too bad. I thought it was gonna be worse, but it's not, it's not bad. Really slow lines. I would probably just dab it. Did you do that? Again, it's not like real skin, so. Slower the better, I guess. Seems to pack more solid into it. This is very strange. 
Might have to go over some lines as well, to be honest. Just to make sure they're in. But if you go over a second pass, it's fine. You're not gonna fuck the client's skin up because he's dead. <laughs> no, I'm joking. So, just get my reference again. So I've lined that bit, line that bit. Now I've got this tiny bit of shade in here. So I'm just gonna outline that in a medium. I'm gonna outline that in a medium. Um, so I'm gonna outline this bit in a medium. Which you'll probably be able to tell when I get done. Probably not. Yep, yeah, you can tell. I'm going to double line everything. I normally do that anyway on clients because it's just holds a lot better, you know. But right, now I'm going to color. I'm going to pack this in with a. I'm going to use a. A nine magnum curved to pack this in. I'm just gonna get some solid black. I'm gonna pack this in here um, like this. That's very strange. It's because it's not even out. There we go. small circles like I normally would. I'm going to do some shading down here as well. I'm going to feather this bit down. It's not like real skin, to be honest. It's um, it's harder to tattoo than real skin, in my opinion. Massively harder. Um, yeah, I think it's a lot harder, to be honest. I think. I think if you can get good gradients on this, obviously without going too nuts on layers because you will mess someone's skin up going over, 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 over it. But if you can, I think you just got to layer this one up maybe as such. But it, yeah, it's, it's, it's very strange in, uh, in the feel of it. I don't know how this ink's gonna come off as well. I don't know how well this is gonna come off. It looks like it's, wipes a lot easier than other brands. That's, that's one thing I, I can tell you now. Um, so this is just a trial run. For those of you uh, that have caught the, the live stream late, this is a trial run on the, the skin I'll be supplying when you come to do classes with me. Um, and obviously, I want to know how it tattoos because I'm going to be teaching you on it. So if I can do a, a good piece on this, then, you know, I'll be happy. It is, it is a bit different to tattoo on, but nonetheless, it's fun and it's definitely uh, using all your skills and your definitely using all your skills and whatnot to uh, to make a good piece on this. So, if anything, it's it's going to be quite hard to. To do something super super smooth on this but i've seen it done before so i'm determined
and you can hear when I hit the skin as well. Whereas on real skin you can't because obviously there's no sound to it. But because this is synthetic, you can really hear when I actually, I can hit, you can hear when I hit the skin, which is a really good learning technique as well for those of you that do want to learn. I am taking bookings for my mental classes. So um, also another thing uh, that I have to say is um, my email went out to those of you that did inquire about the mental classes um, and the, my personal assistant did um, send emails and links out, but the links didn't work. So give me about an hour and I'll be uh, redoing them. So I'll be sending out another link to all, all those people that did apply or inquire. I'm just being careful around here just to make sure it's all nice. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm quite impressed to be honest. I'm quite impressed at the minute. Um, I must admit I'm quite impressed. I am quite impressed. I'm impressed with the how, how well the stencil stays on and also how well the ink wipes off. I think they treat it with a bit of an oil so you can really get the ink off easier. It feels like that anyway. It feels like it's some sort of oil. Now, obviously this skin doesn't go red and it doesn't bleed like real skin. Um, so, I should say human skin because this company is actually called Real Skin. R double -E L. So, yeah, human skin. I'm excited to see how this turns out. Hopefully I can do a killer piece for you guys. So it'll give you an incentive to come and watch me work and stuff and get some pointers and tips. No pressure, hey. No pressure, hey. Right, I'm gonna use this uh, wash now and see how it washes off. Hopefully it washes off very nice with that. Mm, okay. Okay, you just have to give it a bit of a scrub, I think. I have to be very careful now because that is coming off. Ooh. Good to just give it a quick once over with some fairy liquid or something. But, it's going in nice, I've created a nice blend, um, which is cool. Stippling technique, see how that feels. I mm, don't really like how it feels, to be honest. Oh yeah, okay, that feels better. Wasn't moving my hand quick enough. 
Yeah, that feels good actually, the stippling. Yeah, I like that actually, that's very cool. Right, I'm just gonna put a light shade in here. Um, this line in here along the chin now because it needs to go in because it's rubbing off Putting in a medium tone. I'm going to feather that in with a lighter tone than what I used down in the neck area. If you can see the neck area. Oh, first of all, I need to put some medium tone into here. Shade that in. I love it when you call me and say you need me. Make sure this is all saturated. Make sure it's all solid black. Right, now I'm gonna go in with the lighter tones on the chin, which will be here. Um, yeah. Um, I'm using a, a curved mag, mate. That's what I'm using. See, the slower you do the strokes, the more colours packed in. It's actually a bit more consistent as well, I'm not going to lie. Uh, 
Um, yeah, okay, this is, it's, uh, it's hard. It's hard, still. It is hard. It's different, it's just different is the word I'm looking for. It is different. Definitely a lot harder than tattooing fake skin. I mean, real skin, human skin. 100%. Definitely a lot harder. But it's good. I'm enjoying it. It's a good exercise. And you can still do all your. All your techniques on it that you normally would. This is stippling now. and start to get the shape now. If the line really slowly, which is good for your hand coordination. And the more you have to kind of, okay, I think I've got the depth on this now. You have to kind of uh, be very gentle, with, uh, not gentle, but you have to kind of push a bit hard and just keep a really nice, smooth. I'll try some stippling in here now. That's what I'll try and do. Let's see what this looks like. Yes, stippling on this is good, I think. Yep, yeah, very good. I rate this for stippling. I really like this for stippling, actually. Do some real nice stippling. See how packed we can get this. actually that creates nice texture to be honest very very nice textures um, yeah I like that a lot actually now I'm going to come down here like this with black Slowly but surely get in there. Slowly but bloody surely. Um, I'm probably going to pack it in with black again. Because I want to. Because I want to. Use a bigger needle. So it smashes it in. Let's try the 17. 17. Curve Magnum. By Shahiam. Now I've got a little bit of a thing here, so let's do that. Yeah, yeah,
I like this. This is a nice needle to use on this. Lovely needle to use on this. Um, so those of you that do book in with me for the mentor session, I think you'll be using this stuff. Cause it's really nice for techniques and line work. Lines especially, lines are really nice to do on these. You see, um, I really like this, it's really nice. I'm enjoying this a lot actually. It's like painting a drawing, painting a painting, a picture. Who's seen the Newit film by the way? Who has seen the Newit film? I really wanna go and see it tonight, but I'm not sure how good it is. Is it as good as the other one? I prefer using this mag as well, by the way. Um, I feel like bigger mags have got a better, um, what's the word for? I feel like they're easier to shade with, to blend with. And also they're less harsh on the skin as well, I feel. Because it's a bigger surface area, so you have to go over it a lot more than a smaller needle. Science. I'm just going to layer the uh, the stippling bit up because I don't really like that. It's not fully fully black. I do this on client skin anyway. If it's a dark area, I'll just overgo, uh, go over the top of it with a, a mag and proper black it up so you can't see no gaps in between. Um, yeah, I'm gonna come up this side now. Just do that little bit in there. It's off. Very nice. Here we go. Now you can get different types of fake skin. Um, you can get obviously slabs like this, uh, where you can just attach it to an armrest. Um, and to be honest, it's all this is quite good because you've got the the flex flexicity as if you was going into someone's skin, you know. So you've got that little that little uh, what's the word squidginess, if you like. Same on an armrest, so it does feel quite realistic. I'm not going to lie. And as soon as you get into the swing of this, on this type of skin, you can really forget that you're tattooing fake skin. Um, even though you can hear it a lot, but having said that, it's, um, yeah, it's very good. Very, very, very impressed, to be honest. It's actually the best skin I've actually tried out I'm not gonna lie um, and it's super affordable as well if you wanted to buy some afterwards um, after the mentor session so you can take it back with you um, and practice what you've what you've taught you've been taught which is gonna be free anyway I'm gonna give you a free sheet of this um, when you do sign up so you can get this for free if you wanted to do do the the course. And um, when you come, you can I can teach you all the uh, yeah well yeah exactly yeah exactly high fight eighty eight. If you know what you're doing, of 
course. You still have to know the techniques and stuff. Uh, obviously, you know, fake skin is all right. Um, like I said, this is some of the best skin I've ever used. I've, I've used Pound of Flesh as well. I thought that was all right. Uh, it was quite hard to tattoo. It, it broke up a lot, to be honest. This isn't shedding. This is intact. Where I was packing in color like this into um, the Pound of Flesh, bits of silicon were coming off, especially when I was lining. Now this is staying fully, fully intact. So. I'm very impressed with this. I'm going over it a lot as well, and you can really start to see the pitch coming, coming out now with the uh, with the skull. So it, it's it's definitely up there with some of the best skin I've tattooed, fake skin I've tattooed. Um, I've yet to tattoo pig skin, but I don't really fancy slapping a bit of dead pig on my uh, on my armrest. I'm not gonna lie. So, so yeah, so I'll probably give that a miss as such. Uh, now I'm just gonna go in here with the shade in here. Uh, and it comes down here like this. And then a bit goes across here like this. Starting to take shape now, this jaw. Use the side of this mag just to get a bit of a smaller line in it. Come around this section of the jawline. Meeting it up as well, this little line. Feather that in like this, using the side of the mag. Saturate this a tiny bit more so it's not so much gaps in it. And then what I'm going to do is have <clears throat> a line coming from here. There we go. I'm gonna stick some black in this side, just so it pops this jaw out a bit. So I can see where I'm going a lot more. Feather this down as well, so it's a bit of a shadow on the jaw leading up to the, uh, underneath the cheekbone. So it's Looking a bit more realistic, layered up. Make sure you get right up to the line, using the side of the mag. Remember, 
small little circles, small fast circles down into there. Very, very lightly. And then <clears throat> we'll come down with the, the big one. I like using this big one. I feel like there's a lot more uh, blending capabilities in this big one on this type of skin, 100%. I like how it hits and stays in. I'd say we're quarter way through now. Those of you watching, thank you for sticking with us. Or with me, I should say. Yeah, I really like this. See how, the, how, how, how this blends out really nice. Um, yeah, really nice. Have watched, have joined the stream later. This is the fake skin you'll be using on my courses. I'm giving it a good tattoo now, just so you can see that the techniques I use work on this type of skin. So when you do tattoo this skin, you can compare or have a, um, a good look at how it's all gonna come together and look. Um, using this skin, I've never used this skin, this is the first time. So thank you for real to Real Skin for sending me this, uh, this skin to use and to try out. Um, definitely going to be using you guys because it's just the best skin I've ever used to be honest and that is their slogan they even said best synthetic tattoo skin in the world Paul Fowler um, I think it was Paul that sent me this so thank you uh, Paul um, uh, yeah that's his mobile number you can see anyway but uh, yeah so yeah awesome stuff man uh, really rate it so far so far so good um, yeah, it's sticking in very, very well. It's not chewed up the skin in any way, shape or form. It's, it's cracking in very nice. It's, uh, it's perfect for the person that is definitely learning how to tattoo 100% and testing their skills out. Um, 100%, it's very, very, very nice skin to tattoo. I've tattooed a few fake skins and this is by far the best. Now you can get different types of skin um, different types of body parts as well. You can get a head, you can get a, you can get a, a hand, you can get an arm. Um, but this flat piece that you can attach to this armrest is very, very good to tattoo. I didn't like the skull, to be honest. I thought the skull chewed up a bit. Um, it's quite hard to keep the lines in. Um, but again, you know, it's all trial and error. And I was, I think it, I think the quality of the equipment you use as well, like the needles, etc., are, are, are massive to this type of work, and this type of skin. Make sure I've got all up to the line, so it's all nice and sharp. Um, yeah, it seems to be good. Now I'll try and put some white in this as well, at the end. So we can see how that feels and looks. More looks than feels. Um, yeah. I love it when you call me senorita. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. So I'm going to come in here with a little line, shaded line down there. Thank you. 
I like it. I like it a lot. I'm using 17 Curve Magnum by Shane, if anybody is wondering. Anybody is wondering? Probably not. Yeah. Finish this back of the head off. Finish the back of the head off. Make sure that's all in. Again, um, if anybody has joined the stream late, my emails for the mental classes have gone wrong. So the link doesn't work, the link that I've sent you. Um, now I'll be sending those later today and you can see the prices, etc. On the On the single day course or the double day course, two day or, or one day course. And uh, yeah, <coughs> you can have a little perusal on that. I like this though, I like how you can hear the sound of when the needle hits. Do you know what I mean? Helps people to learn. What you doing with the needle? And then I'm going to use this to just shade this in a bit. Do this in. Get the light on. go back into that black just to give it a this is a skull mate you can't see that you don't know what that is you can't see what this is can you tell what it is yet can you guess what it is yet turned out to be a pedo didn't it old Rolf Harris Paris. Can you guess what it is yet? Okay, okay. Uh, the needle I'm using uh, for the visually impaired is. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the Shork pen, the Shork, the Shane Hawk pen. Um, I would say this is a hell of a lot better machine, all rounder. Uh, Hawk pen's amazing at um, what it does, shading. I probably wouldn't line with it, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's just a really good shading machine. Because um, it's got quite a short throw, short, a small cam on it. Um, I think it's got a small cam in it. It seems like it hits like a short throw machine. Um, like a short throw. So so what I'm using is a 2.5 mil cam on mine. I've edited, I've um, edited. I've uh, changed my cam on my machine because it just hits better and you can use, um, you can use a, so this is the cam for those that don't know what a cam is. This is the cam, the gold bit here. And this is responsible for how far the needle goes in and out, if you can see that. So it's that distance there. So going in, out, in, out, it's that distance. This is a 2.5 cam. Um, normally these come in a 3.5, I think. So this is a, or a 3.25, I'm not sure. I think it's a 3.5. 
This is a 2.5, so this is a much shorter throw. Um, and that allows the, I just feel like it's smoother shading. It's a lot smoother. And I'm pretty sure the Shanes have got quite a short throw as well, because it feels a bit like that. Um, so yeah, that's a good tip for those of you that do use these machines and you want to get super, super, super smooth shading. I'll definitely check out the, um, that out hundred percent. Again, you have to be really careful when you wipe because it is going to be quite hard to see where you're going. Line. Oh, my bad, man. Let me spin my cat round. That always happens, my bad. Let me spin my old cat round. over some lines again make sure they're solid and nice and neat yeah that's a good line that one consistency what about consistency of these Consistent lines, consistent smooth shading. Um, although, it's easy to get carried away. going to see how it's going to look at the end. I'm quite skeptical, but I'm just trying to uh, get it in as clean as I can. La 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 Mm -hmm. 
Again, with the black. Going in with the black. Some black in there now. For a liner, just get one of these, man. These are sick. Very, very, very powerful machines. I'm not endorsing them as well. I pay for everything. Um, I didn't pay for this skin because this was a sample, but I pay for everything you see in the video. I'm not sponsored. Nothing like that. I wouldn't go for cheap either because cheap's probably nasty, you know. Rotary works actually are pretty cheap, but they're good. Um, they're local to, to here, to be honest, and they're pretty damn good um, liners. They're really good machines if you want to check them out. Rotary Works, they're very nice. Very nice, smooth machines. Again, one of the main things I like about this skin is just how easy it is to wipe the ink off and still see where you're going. A lot of these skins just soak into the, into the actual silicon because they're made of silicon and you can't see jack shit. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm impressed about the most with this, to be honest. I really am. Um, It's super nice. This machine as well, just for a, a little bit of a demonstration purposes, um, pur purposes, purpose. Um, this can go up to 18 volts. That's extremely high for a rotary machine. Um, it's got a super, super st strong motor in it. So it's really, really nice for aligning or shading. Um, I'm right now at 13 volts. Um, which is just perfect for me because my hand speed is quite quick. So I'm not ruining the skin as much. Whereas if I was really slow, you'd have to just be really careful, you know. Um, but yeah, this machine's a really, really good all-rounder all injector flight nano elite because it's just super, super nice for shading and lining. Um, yeah, definitely go and check them out. If you're looking for a new machine, um, yeah, it definitely packs a punch when lining. If you use it along with some good needles, some good solid needles, then you are onto a winner. I use Shea and Quadrant. I only use Quadrant liner needles because their shaders are fucking awful. So Quadrant, if you are watching, sort your shaders out because I really don't like them. But that's just my opinion, you know. You can't beat Shane shaders, Shane shaders, in my opinion again. 
Liners though, Quadrant, amazing. Really, really nice liners. Better than Shane, 100%. So, yeah. I'm really liking this so far. Just need to neaten a few bits up next to the lines and pack a few more blacks in, in places. But it's so far so good with this. I'm liking how this is turning out. I'm just gonna shade this bit. I've used a lighter ink to go into this bit so you can see this through like that. So it's a bit sh shaded in there. It's not as dark as the rest. Um, yeah, I'm really, really, really impressed with this skin, to be honest. Really impressed with this skin. I cannot lie, I cannot lie. I can I lay, I can I lay, I can I lay. I'm going to go with a really light tone now, uh, coming from here. And then I'm just going to go down like this here. And then I'm going to go across here. Can't really see this because it's that bloody light, which is lovely. Now you can see it a bit. And I'm going to go across like this. Smells a bit like ham though, this uh, skin, which is funny. It smells a bit like ham. It's probably just the silicon though. It's probably not made of ham. But it does smell a bit like it. It's making me hungry. I'm just gonna blend these two lines a bit more together using a tiny bit of a darker shade. Uh, even though I do want them separate a bit, but I'm just going to blend them a bit together. Like that. <laughs> Nice and sharp round here. We're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there, son. We're getting there, son. I'm just gonna do some shading in the jaw. Some really not light, light stuff. Oh, that wasn't me, I promise. <laughs> And just how I would shade on human skin, nice and feathery. Slowing down my hand to pack some more colour in. With a light shade. And got some dark shade up here. What I'm going to do is just use a liner to stipple shade some darker stuff in here. So, like this. And then we're going to go in with this. And we're going to go onto this one. And it's going to come down like this. Across 
there. I'm just gonna go up, cross here. Chip away at this little bit in here. Again, all really small details with a three round line I like to use. Um, right, let's get some more of this, these teeth in. Again, that was a pretty shit fucking line. Just go back into that one, that's better. I'm using a, me, a dark medium, not a black, just a dark medium. For these lines. And then I'll probably go into medium here. Finish these lines off. Actually, I've gone into a light there. I've just dipped straight into a light. But it doesn't matter. If it is uh, a bit darker. And then what I'm going to do is stipple this shave this in like so there we are there we are there we are there we are I'm gonna stipple this I'm not going too mad because I like the texture that this gives up here and I want it to try and look a bit pitted. Again, it's just snagging a bit, so that suggests that my needle was too far out. A teeny bit. So I'm gonna pull that back in. It is quite far, look, if you can see. Probably not. it back a bit so it's not snagging as much we can carry on it's better and you've probably got more better ink flow as well if you if you notice that your ink flows not going in as much wipe your rinse your thing out because it might be uh, you've got um, you've got Vaseline stuck in the end where you've been Vaseline in it, whatever you've been doing with it, and pull your needle back, which would suggest that it's probably, I'm just gonna shave these teeth in now. using a very light tone on these teeth because I don't want to go fucking crazy with it. I'm 
using stippling on this now. For those of you that are interested. Stippling techniques. I haven't used the round shader yet. I feel like this uh, connects a tiny bit better, the shader, the brown shader. And therefore creates better shading. I mean the, the, the liner, not the round shader. Still slowly chipping away at this, shading these little bits in. Very impressed with this fake skin. I'm very impressed actually, extremely impressed. Get in with the shader again. I'm just going to shade down from here. Such a long time. I've been waiting for a long time. Such a long time. Right. Slowly but surely getting there now. With the jaw, anyway. Thank 
saturated so we don't want non-saturated stuff with holes in it because that's not good is it just show you a bit down here as well where the teeth are create that little bit of darkness there So, get this in there as well, don't really want that showing, to be honest, not quite dark. Like that, right, let's give it a good old scrub down, see what's going on. after this is um, just go and wash it with some fairy liquid as well just so I can get all the remainder of this off as you can see this it's getting there slowly bloody slowly right I'm probably halfway through now um, not much to go apart from the black bits in the eyes so I'm probably going to go up this side now um, and just use some Vaseline to create this bit in here. Like this, so how far does that go down? Black goes all the way down into here. Again, with the liner, you have to be proper careful Nice and slow, I think. Let's go down into there. And then down into here, and then across like this. And then uh, we have all this in here. I'm going to go up from here, I think. Like that. Just create a... Bit of a line. Just know where I'm going. That's what I'm going to do, like that. I'll make my shade up. in there, Got some black, some dark, dark black. I'm just gonna shade up from here. 
I feel like Bob Ross. God, God rest his soul, it was awesome. Shading on synthetic skin 101. Press a bit harder than normal. But don't do that on real skin because you'll fuck it up. You'll fuck it up. We'll get that dark in there and then we'll feather it up with a bit of a lighter shade. Going up. Back of the skull. And then going up through the middle a bit. Like that. And go over it a bit more so it blends it out a bit. Like that. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. I'm going to go with the darkening. I'm just gonna shade some of these ridges. Like this. A few more over here. Like that. And a few more around here. This just creates a bit of a, a rounded shape that you can see gives it some more detail as well and there's a tiny bit in here as well which is this bit in here a little bit of a shaded ridge and then we'll feather this back down into here to just soften that edge up so it blends a lot better like that Get more. A bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Like that. Um, yeah, okay, this is um, this is coming together now. Uh, it's starting to look like a skull. It's forming nicely. Um, I'm just going to... Put the eye in here. Uh, so this is my favourite bit, the eyes. I love the eyes. Again, be very careful when lining because I'm pushing quite hard to get this in. Um, I wouldn't normally push this hard with a three round liner in a human's body because it would just blow out. But because this is synthetic skin, to create very, very crisp, nice lines like this, you need to push a tiny bit harder than normal, but that's all trial and error. All comes with experience, I guess, so. But if you do push too hard in this, it actually does blow out, like real skin. I'm not gonna demonstrate because I kinda wanna get this nice. But it does blow out. It goes just a bit more blurry, you know. So that's the eye. Um, I'll whack this dark shading in now. Actually, what I'm going to do is whack this dark shading in here to start with. Because this is needing to be done. I use a lot of this technique a lot as well. It just takes a bit longer, so 
going backwards instead of forwards. So I go backwards to create a real subtle, soft tone, soft blend. And a lot of this as well, like up against the lines like this. Um, feathering that in. It takes a, a lot longer to get in and then I'll brush stroke it like a paintbrush like this. You can hear my needle hitting. In the thing. Um, so, yeah, before I start to do any of that, I'm just going to finish this bit off here because I need to. Because I need to, because I need to. Feather that bit out as well, get right up to that line. is actually with it a fainter line but it doesn't really look like it I'm just going to go with it anyway Uh, now there's some lines in here. I'll probably put in. Like that. I'll make this as realistic as possible. adds a bit more thingy to it as well. Um, yep, yeah, just adds a bit more stippling technique. Nice little texture. Stipple in as well. Create that little textured line in there. Again, you can do this on the skin, on the human skin. Really effective. Very effective thing. Uh, oh, now I need a bit more dark. It's going to be a darker tone in here now. Again, stipple in. So you just keep your hand moving a lot faster than you would lining. So lining would be like that. This is exactly the same depth, exactly the same motion. It's just you moving it faster so it creates a jump on the skin. You get this kind of technique. Uh, really effective again to put some nice details in. And this is a little tutorial, a little trial run for my mentor classes that you can buy. Um, if you want to email me, you can. You can email me and I can do a little, uh, send you a pack. If you want some more information on my 
mental classes. Just layering up this stippling. And then we've got some in here as well, which is starting around here. I'm just going to map this shape in first, like this, and it goes in like that. Comes in here like this. Open that up a tiny bit that well it's all right it's not too bad right i'm gonna go back in with the shade and needle now and shade the rest of that in that cheek make that a bit more solid and i've got the, the shape of it Ladies and gentlemen. Right, I'm gonna go in with the black in this. I'm gonna smash some black in there. I'm just gonna put the Need that a bit more. Smash all this in black. And then feather it out towards the middle of the eye. Not middle of the eye, the end, end of the eye, this eye. Make sure that's all fully saturated. This is good to see how well you, good your packing skills are as well, because you can see where you've missed. So the technique that you use is quite good to see. This. I recommend even experienced artists using this kind of thing, because it really does put your skills to the test. Um, it really, really does. Like obviously, it's a neutral skin, so you can find common ground on your skills as a tattooist um, on this kind of skin because everyone's skin's different, especially human skin. So some tattoos you might feel uh, better than others, and then there's other other ones that you feel uh, could you you would feel like you did a, a better tattoo last week or something so you're thinking what's going on is it me is it them it's probably the skin the skin didn't react as well as the last client's skin so it's gone redder or it's you know a lot more tans or something so you feel like it's not as contrasted or that really does make a difference in how you um perceive a, a finished tattoo that you've done um, I'm just smashing this in black, making this 
come to life a lot more. I'm really impressed with this skin. I was a bit dubious at the beginning. I was like, oh no, but then once I got used to how to tattoo it, you adapt to, to different people's skin, which is a massive part of being a tattooist. It's, you have to adapt to so many different types of skin and this really, really does make you adapt. And uh, yeah, it's definitely worth getting this, in my opinion, from real skin. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely worth getting this to learn to tattoo on. Uh, line work, realism, I'm doing realism right now, obviously black and grey. Um, but yeah, you, you, you really, really should get some of this. It's very, very good. And it's holding all the, all the ink in, nice, you know. So, yeah, it's, it's good. Very impressed with this. Very, very impressed. So, Paul, thank you again from Real Skin for sending me this. Muchly appreciated. Right, let's, do, let's get this nose in while the stencil there. I'm just gonna put this line in here. And this line in here as well. Oh, just went a bit too deep there. Snagged a bit. There you can just see. There you go. Uh, okay, so this side of the stencil is not that good. But we're going to work with it, we're going to work with it. I'm just going to line it out. If worst comes to worst, I'll have to try and put the shading in myself without using the shading references. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you're watching, whereabouts are you watching from? Where in the world are you watching from? Let me know. Again, with the lines, you have to be super slow, which is a good practice to do anyway, to have. stencil over here, so I'm going to go with the lighter tone, just put this back in.
ladies and gentlemen. I cannot um, read uh, Spanish, I think that was, or that might have been Italian, I don't know.
I'll scrub down. Oh. Coming together now, slowly but surely, coming together. Thank <laughs> you. 
Details in now. Some more shading areas just to make it even more realistic. Hey man, Shane O'Connell. How you doing, my brother? Thanks for watching, my man. I really need to come to Australia. shading wise um, what I'm going to do let's just go over these blacks the smaller mag just so they're all proper solidly in around the lines around the corners and shade away
Again, keep them the same hand consistency throughout like this. That's how you tattoos, hand speed and consistency, keeping it throughout. That's where you really find where your smooth shading comes from. Hand speed and consistency. I'd say this bit of skin is pushing my ability to the to the most it can can go to at the minute. Uh, just because it's it's quite hard to tattoo to be honest. It's pretty hard to tattoo. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I found it pretty tough, but I think we're getting there. I think we've got there in the end. This is a soft man. This this is a soft bar. Look how soft that is. Um, and it's on the softest setting, I believe. That's the setting I've got it on, as it's looking like this towards me. So he's got three on the left and two on the right. That's my uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. You know what it is, um, David Fields. It is. It's definitely harder to get softer uh, shades. Although, this is super good. I really, really enjoyed this skin. Um, this is really, really nice skin to use. And to be honest, you can get some real nice soft gradients. I think a good tattooist can tattoo on anything. I've seen tattooists tattoo on leather shoes and still get amazing results. I was, I was shocked by it, so I was like, wow, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, I hope I've done myself justice with this. Um, you know, it's, it's fake skin, isn't it? It's fake, it's synthetic, it's silicon. It's a silicon skin, so so it's going to be much harder. Right, so now all the shading is pretty much in there. I'm just going to go through with a, a um, three van liner and just put in some nice details. So some nice little pits in the skull. Uh, that's how I roll. And then I'm gonna go through and get some white in there as well. As I'm doing that down there, I just want to put that a bit darker. Shade that a tiny bit darker. Uh, through here. Yeah, like that. 
push it this type of skin um, for the first time tattooing this skin which is quite cool um, Right. Just move that out of the way a bit. 
it's off him. I'm just going to give it a wash quick and uh, then go ahead and get some white, I think. Take okay, this off. I'm just going to go and give it a wash real quick. So it's come out really nice. Um, one of the things that I did um, did not like about uh, this is so annoying. Um, one thing I did like about about uh, this skin is that it washes really easy, um, which is quite cool. I'm probably going to get some uh, some background it maybe, I don't know, uh, it looks quite lost there on its own, um, but yeah it's come out really nice, if you go closer you can see like the little small bits, it's quite, it's quite hard to see, 
because it's so flexible, but. It's quite cool. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is just maybe try and put some white in. I don't know if it's gonna work, because it's quite light, but I'll give it a go, I'll give it a go. Um, I wanna try and put some roses around it at some point, which would be quite cool. Uh, maybe, maybe some script or something, I don't know. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna try and put some white in now. Uh, for the white, I'm going to use, actually, you know what, I'm going to use some background. I'm just going to fade off some shading around it, a bit like how I've done what's, what it's like with this, you know. Um, I'm probably just going to use that. Again, I'm just going to pop this here, real skin. Real skin, if you're interested in knowing what it is. Just need to tie it down again. I'll probably just use this stuff, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I'll use this stuff. Make sure I've got this on secure. do want to put some roses onto it I can just add it on afterwards um, yeah it's quite hard to get the uh, the ink super smooth but I'm sure if you had plenty of practice then you would this is only my second time ever tattooing flake skin so yeah, I've tried to put some try and get some shading around it uh, like it is in a picture so I'm going to use a big mag just feathering some dark dark black tones might as well use up all my ink while I'm here come out here, make it more realistic as well, to be honest. So go up from up here. Ooh. There we go. Yeah, it's making it a lot more realistic now. Just black shading around the outside of it. Thank <laughs> you. 
See how much more realistic this looks now with the black around the outside. You can't see the line around it. Thank you. 
We're getting there now, it's coming together a lot better. Um, definitely needed some of that in there, some dark black. Just to make it more realistic and pop out a bit more. Let me know if anybody's interested in buying one of these. I would actually sell them. I'd do them by hand and then sell them if you wanted to. If anybody would want to buy anything like this. I don't know how much I would sell it for, but. It'd be a pretty cool design to hang up in a frame maybe. Do lo loads of different ones. Sign it or something.
feel like the faster the hand movements are on this stuff, if you layer it, you could get some quite nice smooth blending. If you layer it well, if you cross that chip like go this way and then that way, you probably get some nice soft blending, you know? Give it a good old scrubby dubba dubba doo da. Down. Gonna go and saturate the blacks a bit more on the outside. Thank <laughs> you. 
Right. Now that's in. I'm going to get some black, I mean some white, in there. Get some black in there. See what that looks like. We won't fill the rest in. Uh, yeah, I've, I like how this has come out. Second in a journey, I guess. You are? Another life. It's quite good, this skin. Yeah, they all bounce back, didn't they? No, it's about it's about it. no one can open the files. Oh. So what I'm gonna do is, oh my God, that's good. It's quite hard though to blend it, but it's quite, it's, it's the best skin I've used. It's weird, isn't it? Um, yeah, no, I think we should just send the picture, the pictures instead. Why can't, why, why can't know. we send the so pictures? I, I haven't looked, I've been in Milton Keynes, but I, um, I just thought, oh, I'll see what's come back. 
And no one can answer, no one can open the things. Yeah, because um, there was, because I, I sent the, a picture, didn't I? A, J, a JPEG. But um, you wanted a PDF, didn't you? Yeah. But the PDF doesn't work, does it? Well, I don't know why. It's a, it's a fucking PDF. It's fine, I'll redo it all. What's the um the picture? You could just send the picture, can't you? Well, well I could do, but I don't know why what why is it what what are they saying they can't open then? The PDF file. I don't know why. Maybe I've done it wrong, I don't know, but transport export. I mean because I just saved it to your file and then attached it. Yeah. So when you sent it, I've just gone save attachment in your file and then I've gone to each and every person's email and I've done a reply and I've attached just copy and paste it so what you can do is um, get the the picture page one and page two into desktop get the mailbox and then just click each one reply and then drag it into mailbox and just say here you go and then do it I just took the word file file that's no, just picture Sure? Yeah, because everyone can open a picture, isn't it? Because you have to have it on Mac. You can't. It's not word. Word isn't on the. Um, from. I've got word on that on mine. Yeah, on yours, but on other people's they haven't. Right, so it's got to be a picture. Saved it as. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't save it as a PDF. Thought no, I was. saved it as a PDF. Oh, okay. but I've probably corrupted it. Right, I didn't probably realise. it wrong. I don't know. Okay, oh, that makes PDF. sense. No, I, I thought I had done so, but when I think about it, I didn't. I just press save yeah. into your folder, then attached it. Yeah, I think. So, um, I think just send the the, the picture. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. I'll page one or page two picture. That's really good. It's quite hard. It was. Have hard. you worked today? No. No, I don't want to. Huh? Just just I know he said he came by, but um. He said he was waiting for me and then I was waiting. Oh, he said I didn't want to leave my mic. Yeah, but he said, I said, why didn't, why didn't you call me? I was waiting for you to call me or text me or something saying you're here. Yeah, but I was thinking where is it? It's like half past. Whatever it was. When, when, when did you get in? Uh, quarter to twelve. Oh. So I, quarter to twelve. That's what I was thinking. So have you got, you've got someone in tomorrow, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, um, can we move Fridays to Thursday? Oh, no. Fridays to Thursday, and then see. We need to just uh, finish this up. Right, let's put some white in. See what that looks like in this. And then we will finish the line. It's been emotional. Let's have done it white. This is the white one. This is the dynamic. This is the white. Oh, that don't look right. 
That doesn't look right at all. That's well annoying, isn't it? I was going to do it after this, to be honest. Why'd you go to Mil Milton Keynes? That's crap. Oh, really? shows up in this to be honest. It does a tiny bit but not a lot. Like it would have no skin. Tiny bit more depth to it, but not a lot, to be honest. Is it working?
Cool, man. Makes it look more realistic. I'm just going to give it a wash now.
once. I washed it. And that's the final product. That's as good as I'm gonna get right now, but I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. It's going quite well. Yeah, man. Of course. Can you see that? Hold on. Obviously, this is the drawing, but can't really see it. Yeah, that's it really. So yeah, uh, overall I think the skin is very nice. Um, yeah, it hasn't gone through either. You can see it's obviously layered into there. But yeah, it's not gone through. Um, yeah, it's quite cool, man. Very cool. Um, very cool stuff. So if you do come and get mentored by me, then we will be tattooing on this. Um, I'm definitely going to go and tattoo on this because it's it's pretty good. Um, I'm probably going to add to this. I'm probably going to put some roses and stuff around it. If I can tattoo that without it moving too much, because it's hard to s put that down, stick that down. But yeah, um, yeah, cool. Smash a like on the video, guys, if you liked it, if you enjoyed it. Thank you for the 112 likes. That's cool. And, uh, yeah, um, I'll be sending emails back tonight. And, uh, yeah, see you in the next video.